What's going on, Cougar fans? Peter Borkowski here on this edition of Coaches Weekly. And for the final time this season, I'm joined by head coach of the women's tennis team here at CUC, Lena Lawson. Welcome back to the show, Coach. It's hard to believe the season's come and gone already. Yeah, it was a really long season. So mm. Long season, sorry, short season. It, and it's already done, which is kind of surprising. Like a, mm -hmm. kinda. Well, let's talk about it. This past weekend was your final set of games. You took home the win on Senior Day Saturday against yes. Alverno. Unfortunately, dropped the season finale Sunday at Lakeland. But let's talk about these two games. What did you see as coach? Was this kind of what you wanted to see in your final weekend? Was this a good note to end the season on, these last two games? Um, Saturday, definitely. Mm -hmm. Great win. Uh, we kind of expected that one. Mm -hmm. um, Sunday against Lakeland, unfortunately, I was expecting a win and okay. we actually lost 8-1, which yeah. um, was kind of surprising for me, but, but uh, we really struggled with a lot of injuries mm -hmm. and, mm -hmm. and once again, as I said it before, I didn't have a full lineup, uh, a lot of injuries, girls are hurt, so for them it was a long season, it felt really short to me. but yeah. <laughs> But yeah, so unfortunately, Lakeland match wasn't what I expected, but we, we still gave him a fight. So. Mm -hmm. Well, going back to Saturday, it was senior day for your players, like I mentioned. Five mm -hmm. seniors were honored, Heidi Hesse, Alexa Hoover, uh, Sarah Kirchhoff, uh, Maddie Perkins, and Allie Wingood. And I'm mm -hmm. sure you've already you know, shared your fair amount of thoughts about these five players, but maybe now one final time on today's interview, you can kind of Give your opinion on these five players, what they've meant to the program in your two seasons here as coach. Yeah, so definitely was amazing to have them. Um, starting with Ali was uh, literally first player to join when I got hired. Mm -hmm. uh, was great to have her on the team, and uh, she was a really good mentor for everybody. I felt like um, having Alexa, um, uh, who started last year who probably was most improved player for me. Okay. She made huge, huge improvement in her game and had a couple wins this year. Really proud to have her, but unfortunately she's already gone. Right. Uh, Sarah um, joined this year, but got injured right away. Yeah. Unfortunately played only, was it four matches maybe? Okay. Um, Heidi, same thing. Mm -hmm. Amazing player to have, a lot of wins. Yeah. To go with our number one spot uh, from France, graduate student. Same thing. Uh, it was great to have her. I wish I could have her one more year, but yeah. but that's the situation. And uh, who am I leaving out here right now? Uh, Maddie Perkins. Oh, Maddie Perkins. Yeah, Maddie, um, dual sport athlete, mm -hmm. joined the team last year. Did great last year. Did great this year. Fingers crossed. He's going to go to graduate school. Going to okay. play for me one more yeah, year. Right. I kind of hope that. So, if Maddie, you're watching this, come back. <laughs> um, but yeah. Really great group of girls, mm -hmm. um, but it's just too short of time. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, let's look at the season as a whole now. And we kind of talked about your goals at the beginning of these series of interviews. You know, you mm -hmm. really wanted to see growth and improvement over the year. And now that we're at the end of the season, did you see what you wanted to out of this year? You know, what was kind of your general takeaways from this season compared to the start and then where we're at now? Um, I think we, even though our record doesn't show, but I feel like a team got a lot better mm -hmm. what we were last year. There's a lot of improvement. Everybody uh, improved their game. Unfortunately, a lot of injuries this year, which constantly we had to yeah. sit somebody out in one match and Something they had to be in an athletic training room all the time. And So that was a downside, but I definitely felt like a team was going right direction, team mm -hmm. culture was going. Uh, it was going. He's going right direction. Uh, overall, I felt like it was a really good season, mm -hmm. and I hope the wins are coming next year. So, right. Well, let's talk about that a little bit. I know it's only been less than a week since your season finale, so we still got a long way to go. Mm -hmm. But could you give, maybe give us a little sneak peek at what you want to see in the next couple of years out of this program? Where do they go from after this season? So definitely. We gotta improve our record. Mm -hmm. um, we need to get some wins. Uh, recruiting is a key right now. Right. Um, hopefully, the girls I'm talking to, we're gonna get some in. My mm -hmm. goal is to bring four or five girls in. Okay. Um, so, as keep growing, we're gonna be a young team. It's gonna be a lot of freshmen. Mm -hmm. uh, but I really feel like we're going in the right direction. We are doing right things. Um, 
and if we get some new recruits in, uh, I know the record's going to be a lot better, and we're going to getting some getting more and more wins. Right. And that's where we are right now. Mm -hmm. So just keep working, and that's all we can do, right? Right. Well, CUC Women's Tennis, they're done for the season. You can still find information and all news about the team at our website, cucougars.com. Coach Lawson, thank you for joining me all throughout the season. Hopefully I get to talk to you later this year when you're coaching the men's team here at CUC. But until then, this is Peter Borkowski signing off of the Cougar Sports Network and wanting to say, as always, go, go Cougars. Cougars.